Tonight I'm doing something a little crazy. It's 10.30 p.m. I'm gonna hike Suler Mountain here in Akareri, Iceland. I've already hiked this mountain once, two and a half weeks ago when I showed up here in Akareri. I wanna hike it to capture what it's really like, sunset and sunrise, in high summer in Iceland. We're Jenna and Jeremy, travelers, creators, and digital nomads. As part of an exciting freelance gig, we spent three months in the stunning country of Iceland. Follow our adventures as we explore more of this incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and you can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. Tonight, I believe the weather says that the sun will set around, I think, 12.48 p.m., and it will rise again at, I believe, 1.37 a.m. It will be nighttime for less than an hour, and it won't be very dark. I know this because I stayed up a few nights ago elsewhere, and I wanna do it again and show you guys what it's like to be this close to the Arctic Circle in the north. The Sulur Mountain Trail is on all trails. They call it a point-to-point -point trail, and it says it's three and a half miles. The sign says 5.5, 5.4 kilometers one way. So in total, just over seven miles. It says it's like around 2,800 feet of climbing. That's a lot of elevation gain. Any places along the trail can be a bit sketchy due to melting snow. You're walking in it for a lot of the trail and muddy areas that potentially get even more saturated as snow continues to melt. And I'm hoping the trail has dried a lot since I did it last. It was quite muddy to the point where I was squishing into mud pretty much up to my laces. But the walking in the snow actually isn't so bad. I would pick that over the walking in the mud. But you do have to be careful where you're walking on snow that's frozen enough on the top, but it could be hollowing out underneath. I'm the only one out here, so I might not only have my shirt off, may have taken my pants off as well. I have three layers in my backpack for when I'm at the top. Could be windier. Here's a look at the trail. It looks really beautiful with the way it's cut in so nicely. Not all sections of it look quite this nice. It already looks a lot greener than last time. Oh, cool, these snipes, really beautiful birds. Really nice mountains over there that this overlooks. I mean, just that right there is gorgeous. You don't have to hike far on this trail or at all to see beauty. You could just drive to the trailhead. About 46 minutes later, I am two miles into this trail, so more than halfway up. I'm actually gonna slow down a little bit and chill because I'm sweating even though I'm looking like this. There is nobody out here. It is pure solitude and bliss. You can see down into the fjord, the direction that I came from looks awesome, the sky. And then you can see the direction that I'm going. I think you can actually walk further along that ridge. We've got a big snow patch. Let's hope that it's nice and sturdy and thick and that there aren't any sections where that is running under it and hollowing it out up here. Trying to figure out the best place to cross. Maybe it's not here. Just came across there. Got a nice spot here. There you go. Midnight, 12 a.m. The sun has not yet set. And I am not yet to the top. That's actually not the top there. I'm really in no rush. It's just crazy to be out at this time. It feels pretty awesome though. Time for the snowiest section of the hike. We got a big chunk to pass through here. Everything seems fine though. It's packed in pretty tight. The slope isn't too crazy right now. Even though this is my second time doing this, it's easy to underestimate the climbing, especially at the end. You think you're close, and then you look up and still have that peak to climb. It's this kind of ground that I'm not so fond of. I just missed the really squishy part, but oh yeah, like that. Where you just think it looks fine, 
and then you really squish into it. Oh gosh. There's an absolute calf burner, 45 degree angle. I have the camera pointing level right now and you can see that slope. That's what I'm walking up and it is, look at my feet. <laughs> Again, where I came over what I thought was the last edge. So hiking for an hour and 37 minutes, I've gone 3.37 miles and I've climbed 2,669 feet. Woo! I'm at the top. I got this cool thing that someone had to carry up. I can at least tell you that this facing due north and I'm at one point 144 meters, so 1,144 meters. I planned on being up here around 1230. We got 1222, beautiful. Still, I think 20 minutes before sunset. You can't actually see the sun, but it's over there. The crazy thing is you would think that, oh, the sun sets in the west, so it'd be over there. Not exactly because of how far north we are and the way the earth is tilted. It's gonna set right around there and then it's gonna rise again right just like that pretty much we've got this box thing here what do we have in here maybe uh like a guest book or something weird to be sweating and then wanting to put my shirt on ah uh, old papers that got wet and getting moldy but there are writings in it here alberta canada some icelandic people writing in here sigmund stotter all right, well, I'm gonna put this back, but that is really cool. So I walked way further along the ridge line, just sat and ate another snack, and I can see the sun coming up already. It's been about an hour, and the middle of the night, this is about as dark as it gets in the summertime in Iceland. It's crazy. Here's a view looking that way. You can kind of see a little extra light over in that area. Okay, here is the hyper view on the GoPro. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Two forty-five a.m. I'm gonna eat my last snack, drink some water, fly the drone one more time because the sun might peek over those clouds and give me some really nice light. And then I gotta get home, man. I gotta sleep, and then I gotta return this car rental at nine thirty. So, yeah, it's a it's a weird one, but man, it's been fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Some spectacular places that I'm so thankful to have explored. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more travel videos. See ya.